Uh, now, as you know, if I've talked about this old smiling oven a few times, and right now I got it preheating at about 400 degrees, and I'm gonna let it preheat. I was at a steak restaurant, a steakhouse one night years ago. Well, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago. When I was a while back, and I had one of the best baked potatoes. I'd ever eaten in my life. And I asked the uh, waiter, I said, how do you make these potatoes? And they said, well, I don't know. Well, I'll go ask the chef. And and uh, he came back and he said, well, you're going to need a convection oven. I said, well, I got one. <laughs> he goes, okay, I'll be back. So he, he anyway, he said, you're going to need a convection oven. You ain't got a convection oven. It's really hard to do. So anyway, he went back, long story short, he went back and he says, well, you got to put on some seasoning and, and, and olive oil on, on the potatoes and you put them in the oven and real hot and then you turn them down, to, just put them in there and then you turn the oven down to about 300 degrees, 275 so on there and you let them cook for about an hour. Well, I did that and he didn't tell me I had to poke holes. And the taters. I had I ain't had this oven long. You gotta poke holes. Olive oil. I use Mrs. Dash. I and mean, you can make your if you got another rub, use whatever you got. But I like Dash, salt free. Well, so anyway, I didn't poke holes the first time I cooked these, and I got like six taters in the oven. I hear puh, 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 and I didn't think much about it till I got the smelling potatoes. And I looked in this oven right here, and it was cut. All them taters in there had exploded. This thing, I had to turn it on. Where is that thing? Anyway, there's a there's a uh, auto clean. I had to I had to use that after I got all the ta mashed potatoes cleaned out of it. So if you do this. 375, 400, or so what? Stick the tater in there and then drop the heat immediately. But poke holes all, all over, all over this tater and coat it in olive oil. Anyway, I only got 15 minutes. There's that butter. There's those steaks. Now, I done took I done took a butter knife and I cleaned all the stuff off top. They'll sit here for about an hour. A little bit of oil, salt, and pepper. That's all I'm going to do with these and this, this butter. Compound butter. All right, we'll be back. Okay, there's one other thing. I, I take this pan here, and I stick it on that bottom rack right there, and I put the potatoes on this rack. I'm only I'm only cooking one potato tonight, so if you cook a bunch of potatoes, just use a bigger pan. Put that foil on there, because it's easier to clean up. Cook these things one hour, one hour and 30 minutes or so, Turn the heat off and just let them sit. They'll be great. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I put that tater in there with that pan in there because if you get a bunch of taters and they drip, I reduce the heat to 275. If you've got a regular oven, you reduce it to 300. One hour and 15 minutes. All right, and they'll be done. You can turn the oven off and just let it sit. It'll be great. All right, we'll be back. Go we'll cook them steaks. Hey, how you doing there? Good to see you. All right. Forget about it. We'll be back. Well, there's some apple soup bacon. We'll get back to those in a minute. There's some apple soup bacon. There's some parsley. Looks like we're going to have some twice baked, twice baked baked potatoes tonight. Bang. Yes, sir. We're going to have them. All right. We'll be back. Okay. My wife is watching sex and the City, which is an HBO program. It, it, it's actually pretty good. Anyway, all right. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm cooking some applewood cured bacon here. I got some. Um, these are chives that I, I grow. These. This. This is. This freshly grown. Uh, you grow. You grow this stuff in the summer. I wish I had a greenhouse. All right. We got some cheese. I'm gonna get some. Uh, Sour cream out of the refrigerator, and I'm going to take this tater here, and I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm going to pull the pulp out of it, mash it up, put it all in there, and then I'm going to bake it again while I'm cooking that steak out. That, them steaks out there. All right, we'll be. All right, 
twice cooked potatoes. I'm going to scoop this pulp out. I'm going to let them cool because they're, they're, they're done. Put that pulp in there and then I'm going to add some cheese, uh, chives, parsley, fresh bacon bits, sour cream, salt, salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna mix it up. I don't know what quantities. If, if I can figure it out, I'll, I'll give you the recipe. But anyway, and then I'm gonna put it back inside of these. Uh, woo! God, I wish I'd tell you. <laughs> these these crusty tater peels. All right, we'll be back. Twice baked taters. Okay, now as you see, just leave just leave some of them taters. Don't don't skin them down because you 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 want this boat this this skin which is look at that I'm telling you what it's seasoned there now we're gonna mix it all up and 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 refry it all right we'll be back all right this this is this has got a couple tablespoons of butter in it and I I think I need to just splash a little bit of milk in there whole milk. Cheese, chives, parsley, bacon, and then we're going to restuff them. All right, we'll be back. Okay, here it is. I put the bacon, the parsley, the chives, some of that cheese, and a little bit of milk, whole, whole milk, and some sour cream in here, and salt and pepper, and then I'm going to stuff these taters and then I'm gonna put them back in this oven for about 20 minutes at 300. I might even sprinkle a little bit of, uh oh look out now, a little bit of paprika on top of them. You never know. All right we'll be back. All right here we are. These are twice stuffed baked potatoes. Bacon, onion, sour cream, not onion, sour cream, chives, all right, here these steaks are. Now you see that? Can you see that thing out there starting to cook? Ooh, it's getting hot. Anyway, I'm gonna cook these cowboy ribeyes and I'm gonna put on this compound butter and we're gonna be eating soon. All right, I'm gonna put them in the oven here pretty quick. All right, we'll be.